Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you're watching, you're back with another episode of Mr. AJ and his ST. So, today on this video, so another Tinkrum video, I'm going to be changing a few things and cleaning up a lot of things as well. So, some of this stuff I will be doing will be quite handy for some of you, um, especially if you're looking for like boost leaks and things like that, and um, knowing what to clean and touch and take apart, whatever really. But first of all, if you are new to the channel, don't forget you can subscribe at either one of these corners and also click that bell notification button that will tell you when I upload my new videos. Also guys, don't forget the AJ Focus uh, merchandise. The key tags and the stickers are still available. Um, key tags are £12 and stickers are only a fiver. You get two stickers. And the ST and RS Legends merchandise as well, which is the t-shirts, the hoodies, and I've just uploaded new pictures and the new designs on my Facebook group page. So that's AJ Focus, ST, and RS Legends. On the group page, you can see all the pictures on there and all the information on the t-shirts. But some of you don't have um, Facebook, then my email for YouTube is aj underscore focus at hotmail.co.uk. So you can send me your requests and what you want to buy through there. I'm doing offers on at the moment as well, like a Christmas offer. T-shirts were £22 and now they're like £18. And key tags are um, £8 now, I think. Yeah, especially the new key tags, ST and RS Legends key tags, are exactly the same style as the AJ Focus ones. So instead of having AJ Focus on it, you can have ST or RS Legends written on it. So they are also on offer. It's like a Christmas deal, guys. So. You know, everything that will help, you know, especially for next year, there's the videos you're going to bring out, guys, and um, all this merchandise I'm making for you, and it goes back into the channel. So, yeah, grab some of that good stuff. So, let's go on with today's video, shall we? We are going to start on the interior. I did this in a minute ago at my parents' place, but for some reason, as soon as I got there, the heavens opened and it pissed down a freaking rain. Uh, so I got really, really annoyed. I'm absolutely drenched. So I just got came home, had a bite to eat, warmed up, got dried up. And I'm going to do the car in the underground car park. I've brought some tools with me. Yes. So we can do a few things today. A few things that I set out and wanted to do today. The other thing we wouldn't be able to do is jack up the car and take the driver's wheel off and get to the research valve. because I need to check that. Uh, make sure it's not leaking and things like that. Check the seals. But I can't get to that today, so I'm going to have to do that for another day. But the other things in the engine bay we'll get around to doing. So first of all though, let's get into the interior, shall we? And I have actually just bought the other day um, a new cabin filter, basically. Put say on there, cabin filter. Because every now and then we get a waft of fumes coming through in there. So I don't know how old that filter is in there. I'm going to take it out and replace it with a new cabin filter. I did buy an oil filter and I have some oil, so I will be doing an oil change very, very soon. Um, I'll probably do it in the new year when it's not wet and too cold. So stay tuned for that video. But today we're just going to be tinkering around, changing the cabin filter, cleaning some of the O2 sensors because I also have just been to Halfords. Oh my god, I just paid £7 for this. Well, I needed it because it needs. Oh, wow. The shop I normally go to across the road from me, he's closed on Wednesdays. He closed at half day. He's got an old chap, but um, yeah, he sells awesome car accessories. and So anyway, I bought some intake cleaner and carburetor cleaner seven quid most expensive car but i'm gonna be keeping all of that and not using it up too much <laughs> so yeah i'll be using that but anyway let's get on to today's video shall we stay tuned cheers First thing we're going to need to do, guys, oh, there's a mess. We saw it, like I said, I started this at my parents' place a minute ago and it peed pee down in rain, so I just sort of left it a mess under it. So, look, where you're going to get, need to get to your cabin for it, some of you don't really know where it is. Um, it is on the passenger side, it is under here. So, you're going to need to open the glove box, you're going to need to remove the in inside of your glove box, so there's screws all the way along, and there's three down there behind these. So you, I've already removed it, I'll just put it in for now because I need to keep the door closed because it keeps falling on my head. So as soon as you've undone that, just leave it in there for a minute. Remember where you put your screws, you don't want to lose those. And when you come under here, 
you need to, uh, there's a hook there, this, this, for the, uh, and there's one this side. This is what the um, fuse box sits in. You just need to lift it up and over that and let it hang there. I'm going to try and work around it. Now you see the two bolts at the back there. You're going to need to remove the bracket that holds the uh, electronics in place. You're going to need to remove that bracket because the um, cabin filter sits up behind here, behind the dashboard. So you're going to need to get up behind there, but you can't get to it if this is this, this in the way, basically. And I do believe those bolts are a 13 millimeter size socket. I'm going to need. There's only two to hold that brace on that bracket. So I'm just going to grab my 13 mil socket. Before I start this video, I've got myself a head cam camera mount for my my phone. So um, I'm going to be using that today. So yeah, next time you see the footage, guys, hopefully you'll be looking at it from my perspective. Let's try it out. So this is this just arrived today as well. Or well, when this video is uploaded, it probably arrived a few days before. But yeah, <laughs> let's try this on. All right then, guys. So that should be a little bit better. Just get it in a, get it comfortable in my head. All right, see that's a bit better, isn't it? So yeah, we're going to need a 13 mil and many extensions to get up under here. Yep, and now we're going to need to get our ratchet on the unlock section, Adam. There's your one. Right, so now, hopefully, Bracket should be able to remove. Might be a bit tight because of the wiring's in the way. So just uh, wriggle, wriggle around the. Uh, there we go. Right. So that's the uh, bracket. We we'll put that one side. We we'll use that in a minute. Right. So now that's moved out of the way, we can. Uh, Get up under here. So basically, I don't know if you can see, head mount off. Basically, you know, all right. Now that bracket's moved away, you can move this out of the way. It's here. So there is a, there's a nut there, and there is one just there as well. There is one at the top. That's why you're going to need to get into your uh, glove box in a minute. So I think that is an 8 millimetre, so I will get a real thin ratchet and look for an 8, there's a 7 there, there's a 9, All right, let me try the uh, 7 quickly. So on today's video guys, there's not going to be any music, there's not going to be any... Oh, it is a 7. Okay, so it's a 7mm um, nut, you're going to need to remove that. Yeah, so on today's video guys, I'm not going to put any music in, so I'm just going to let this video roll until we get into the engine bay in a minute, because I really want to get this in, it's done in here. So yeah, I'll just undo those two, I'll just show you, and then I will show you when I've removed the cap. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay then guys, so I've removed the casing, the, the cover. Uh, for, so weirdly, there's only two two screws holding mine on, so whoever replaced it before obviously didn't want the pass or going through the glove box to remove the top one. But if yours hasn't been removed, you will need to go through the, the glove box to get to that top nut. But anyway, they're tiny anyway, they, they come out quite easily. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, so the filter sits in here. See it comes out. Um, just remember which way it, it comes out and which way it goes back in. There are arrows on the um, the filter itself. Oh wow! Look at the dirt coming out of there. Look at all that. That come out of that filter box. That was like in there. Let's try and get the camera in there. Alright, 
So all that crap coming out there. I had to disconnect some of the wires on the uh, on the hair to, to move this over a little bit. But anyway, that's the filter. Oh wow! 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 Look how dirty that is. That is black. Look at the crap coming out of it. Look at my hands. Yeah, that does need changing. Okay, let's get a new filter. I think I've got the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. I might be able to make it fit. If it's the right size, it is the right size. Yeah, stuff it, that'll do. Look at that. New, and oh, you can see instantly. Look at the state of that. <laughs> wow, okay. All right, let's stick this in place. So, on top of it, it's got airflow. So I'm guessing it goes that way in. So it slides in. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. Let's get the new filter in place. Right. I'm sorry about the camera in this bit, guys. But like it is really tight. I'm trying to get the camera in there and my hands. So as you can see now, that is in. Give me a make sure it pushed all the way in, which it is. So I went for it from the top. So I removed the glove box. Next thing you're gonna need, I'm going to need to do is plug in the um, electronics again and put the fans on to make sure the heat and that the air comes through. But I put the filter in the right way. Before I button it all up, let me just uh, put the, all the electronics back on and I'll stick the keys in. If I get the keys ready. All right, plugged it all back in. Electronics are on, lights are all back on inside the car. Dashboard's illuminated. Yeah, fuel pump's on now. Ah, there we go. Oh gosh, wow, that's much better. Oh, the, the heat. Not the heat, but the yeah, well, it is warm because the engine is not on, turned off. Yeah, that's coming through much quicker than it did before. And it's much quieter on number two. Number one, I can't even hear it. Yeah, so it's quietened it down, but it is coming through. Jobs are good, and so that's the uh, cabin filter installed. So I'm just going to put all this back together guys, I'm not going to record it because it'll just be quite boring. So next time you see all this, you should all um, be put back together. Don't forget to put your uh, cover back on, your uh, cabin filter, put your bracket back on, put your electronics uh, back on, and install your uh, glove box. And that's it then guys, and then we'll move on to the engine bay. But yeah, that's coming through. Nice and powerful. I'm happy with that. Alright. See you guys in just a sec.